Mandy from White Lace Cottage. I'm so glad that you're here today. See this crappy cabinet behind me? This old crappy metal cabinet. It's going to get an update today. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. But you're probably wondering what the hell are you going to do with that crappy cabinet? Well, I'm going to show you. You know I'm going to paint it because the, ugly, the color is pretty ugly. I almost said the ugly is pretty ugly, and it is pretty ugly. The hardware is going to go bye-bye. The inside, I don't know if I'm going to paint the inside, but I am going to, well, we'll see. I am, I'm going to take this off and make it look prettier inside as well. But even if I just slapped a coat of paint on it and update the hardware, it would still be ugly. I could stencil it. That would be cool, but I thought what would really be fun is using this. You're probably like, what the heck is this? This is applique, an applique. I had it left over from my media cabinet when I updated that. I'll put the links below so you can see what it looked like before and after, and I also use this on my kitchen cabinets. This is like, I mean, you can use this instead of using the wood. What I love about it, it's silicone and it's stretchy so you can sometimes you get a, a little corner and you're like oh I cut a little too less you can stretch it and you can just take scissors and cut it you don't have to saw it it's super easy but I first have to figure out where I'm going to put it and I was thinking I'm going to put a panel here and I'm going to do one down there I can't take the doors off I don't want to mess with that because it's an old metal cabinet and I don't want to break it instead I'm just going to kind of eyeball it I'm going to put tape tape on it, just regular, you know, uh, transparent tape, put it on there where I want it to go. See how I like it? Because I'm not going to be measuring anything because ain't nobody got time for that, you know what I mean? So I'm going to just put it on here, I'm going to tape it, and then once I get it the way I want it, then I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, compact cement on it, adhere it, and then I can go ahead and paint it, and then we'll change out the hardware, and then I'm going to make the inside all pretty too, and so let's get started. Oh, and the other thing I want to share really, really, really quick is, besides putting that on, I'm also going to put this little, I can't see, it's a little, uh, another little decorative trim that'll look like, something like that, right up here on each side. I don't want to overdo it. So are you ready to get started? First thing I need to do is start to figure out how I'm going to do this, and we're going to start doing that now. And then I'm going to start gluing this on using really stinky stuff called contact cement. It's really, really smelly, but it will keep this in place and hold it really well. You don't have to use nails or anything. Obviously, on a metal cabinet, you can't use nails, so this is like liquid nails. Then, the piece de resistance. This will go right in here somewhere. I think probably about right there. I think I'll put it. So we'll see. All right. I'm going to keep going. All right. So I've added my appliques and while they're still drying, I'm going to go ahead and start painting. The paint that I'm using is Heirloom Traditions paint. It's a paint that I work, uh, the paint company that I work with. I love, love, love this paint. I would never, ever, ever use a paint or endorse a paint that I didn't believe in or use myself. It adheres to everything. This is a metal cabinet, but it'll adhere. You don't have to sand or prime or anything before you do your pieces. And it goes on like butter. I love that. But it also distresses really well too, so I love that. Twilight, Thunderous, and Nickel. So those are all in the gray family. So it made a really, really pretty gray color. That's what I'm going to paint this cabinet. I know it's a little different than what I usually do. But I'm going for a little bit more of a French look. And I just like that color tone for, for this piece. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if that's the only thing I'm going to do yet on it. I, I have already said this in other videos that I sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do with the piece until I actually start working on it. So I think I may be doing some other 
distressing on this but it won't be sanding and it won't be what I normally do. I'm, if I do distressing or, or add a patina it'll be using paint and so if I start doing that I'm going to explain what I'm doing but I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to start painting here and you can see what the color is going to look like. It's real pretty gray. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting this piece and then when, when I come back I'll share with you the next step. Okay, so you can see that I already painted this one side and, well, I actually, I painted the whole piece. And again, I used Thunderous, I used um, Nickel, and, 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 Twilight. Those three colors, because that's the paint I have left and that's just what I was working with, with what I already had. And I, and I wanted that gray look. When I was starting to do this, I had in mind a really cool French piece. Even though it's metal, I wanted it to look sort of wood. So what I did is I used a, I, I added a patina here. I'm sort of a dry brushing technique, a little bit more to it than that. That's what I did on this side. But you can see, right, the difference between the two sides kind of looks old. I have to continue doing this on the, whole, the rest of this whole piece, but I just want to stop and give you a little peek at what I'm doing there. And I'll give you a peek at the hardware. Isn't that cool? Let's see if you can see it there. So what do you think? I love this piece. I think it looks amazing. I mean, I really love this piece. I don't think I want to get rid of it. Okay, so let's talk about the deets. I first I figured out where I wanted to add my appliques and I added my appliques. Then I used three colors, Twilight, Nickel, and Thunderous. And I applied it all over with two coats, brushing it on. After I did that, I let it dry and then I applied this patina on it using sort of a dry brush technique. Once that was dry, I went over it with clear wax to seal it all and then I added this heart, these, these new uh, handles here. Then on the inside I didn't want to paint it, I didn't want to spend too much time on it, but I did add this cloth um, painter's tarp, I just glued it on using tacky glue, so I measured it, cut it out and glued it on. This project cost me zero to do, I had everything I already needed for this project. I'm going to share at the end of this video too the before and after again so you can kind of see side by side how amazing this transformation is because I love it. I, this was just a metal ugly cabinet. I've seen those so many times at thrift shops and garage sales. Or it could be an ugly wood cabinet. Think about how you can repurpose it and reuse it in your home and how you can change it. I mean, maybe it has doors on it. You don't want the doors. Take them off. It's a wrong color or you don't like the wood. Paint it. It has no character and appliques. There's so many things you can do to a cheap piece of furniture and transform it. Uh, I hope that you liked this technique that I shared in this project. For more, please visit my blog at whitelacecottage.com. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And if you already are, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Follow along on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram. Thanks so much again. Bye, guys. And remember, stay shabby. Bye.